400 meter sprinters Francesca Koki Manunga and Joy Sakari Nakumincha made headlines in August 2015 when they failed blood tests at the World Athletics Championships in Beijing, China. The two were later handed four year bans in December of the same year for the use of a banned substance, diuretic furosemide. They are now back in the news after telling the Associated Press that they were asked for $24,000 each or 2.4 million Kenya shillings in exchange for lesser penalties. Mwangi is alleged to have asked for the bribes on the 16th of October 2015, barely a week before their four-year bans were announced. Their allegations are disturbing, bearing in mind last November, Athletics Kenya President Isaiah Kiplagat, Vice President David Okeo, and 2015 World Championship team leader Joseph Kinyua were suspended for 180 days in the interests of the integrity of the sport by the IAAF's Ethics Commission. The trio are accused of involvement in the potential subversion of the anti-doping control process and the improper diversion of funds the Federation received from Nike. In a statement to newsrooms, Mwangi says, and I quote, the allegations are serious, malicious and aimed at maligning the character of individuals as well as those of the National Federation. He adds that during the hearings, the athletes confessed to having taken the banned substance and did not at any time complain of having been approached by any officer of the Federation. And as the hearings were conducted in accordance with the rules, the process by itself is beyond any individual manipulation. Citizen TV spoke to the athletes on Thursday morning and they confirmed that they have been summoned to Riyadh House next week to substantiate their allegations. The athletes, however, say that they will not attend the hearing because they have nothing more to add on the matter. The IAAF Ethics Commission is investigating the matter. Reporting for Citizen Live at 9, I'm Wahiga Mwaura.